We put together a kit several years ago because we've got our composite shop. Uh, we assembled a kit that would be easy to use at the track and do spot repairs like this. So I've uh, I opened one up and just kind of laid out some of the components in here. Now all of the kits that we sell, they come with uh, a really nice set of instructions that you guys will probably just throw away once you open the box. But if you take a second to read them, it will give you an idea of how to use all of the components in this kit to properly repair the body at the track or at your shop. I mean, sometimes you uh, need to use it at the track if, uh, if uh, you uh, hit a foam block or, or bump into the back of the trailer or something and you need to do a repair at the track, this stuff should be in your trailer to use. So you've got a variety of equipment here. Uh, you've got resin, um, we're, and we're going to use a vinyl ester resin in these kits uh, for a couple reasons. If it's a carbon body, it's going to be made out of epoxy resin. If it's a fiberglass body, it's going to be made out of uh, vinyl ester resin. But vinyl ester and, and epoxy are compatible materials. And epoxy is very slow to dry, and it is a lot more um, specific on its mix ratio. So we're going to put some uh, vinyl ester resin in here. We're going to put some hardener, some liquid hardener for that. The instructions are in, in here on how to mix it. Um, you're going to have a uh, can of acetone, which is for cleanup. So acetone will cut this stuff. Um, you're going to get a box of uh, gloves. There's a, there's a whole box in here, so there's more than enough. So you can just kind of peel them off and, and uh, use them as needed. But uh, you really want to avoid getting any of this stuff on your, uh, on your skin. So use these gloves. These are examination gloves, so if you need to examine one of your uh, crew guys, you can use them for that also. Uh, you're going to get a, uh, a, part a particulate mask, a dust mask, and some safety glasses and some sandpaper. So um, these are the first items you'll use, which uh, are going to need to be used to prep the area. So if you have some damage in an area, what you want to do is uh, rough that surface up before you put in this material on, otherwise it's, it's not going to bond to that existing base material. So there's a couple grits of... Uh, sandpaper in here. There's some 36 grit and some 80 grit. Uh, there's uh, stir sticks, mixing cups. So the mixing cups are used for the resin and the hardener. Um, make sure you have the safety glasses on when you're mixing the hardener so none of that splashes in your eye. Um, you're also going to get a, a variety of material and um, these kits come with everything to fix a carbon body or a fiberglass body. So um, along with all this other stuff, you're going to get a uh, fiberglass mat, which is, which is basically stranded fiberglass, and this is really easy to shred and, and uh, do a spot repair. And then you're going to get fiberglass cloth, which this is six ounce fiberglass cloth, and this is used to top coat this. So if you're doing a, a spot repair or you need to build up a missing section, you can kind of use this to, to build that area up and then top coat it with this. If you're doing a carbon repair, if you've got a carbon body and you want to repair it with carbon, we're going to give you uh, some 3K carbon and this peel ply. And uh, what's going to happen here is we're going to lay this material down uh, first. And you can use this in combination. If you need to bulk that area up, you can use this uh, six ounce cloth and then top it with the, uh, uh, use the carbon first and then top it with the six ounce cloth. And then on top of that, you use the peel ply which is, uh, this is a fabric that has a, uh, a release agent on it, and that will go on top of this, and it'll allow you to smooth that out really flat like um, the back side of the body is that we build. If you look at the interior side of the body, you'll see that it's very nice and smooth and has kind of a matte finish. This will produce that. So you've got some fiberglass mat, cloth, carbon fiber, and some peel ply. You've got um, brushes in here to use to apply the resin with and also some scissors to cut this stuff to size tape to tape it into place or to tape uh, sometimes you'll have a piece missing like if you hit a uh, hit something on the track uh, you might have a chunk missing out of the front end you can use the tape to kind of build that up on the outside and give you a backer to um, do the repair against so you have all this it comes in that kit these are very uh, nice kits they have everything you need to do a repair at the track and they're also refillable, so if you use some of this stuff, you can um, call us up and get the uh, refill supplies for it. You can get more material. If you just use some of this material up out of there, or you get short on stuff, you can call us and we can um, refill your kit for you. 
but these are really nice. They um, they will be uh, they will last a long time. This doesn't take a lot of material to go a long way. So there's plenty of uh, resin in here to do a lot very large repair. I mean, with the mount that's here, you could replace the whole front corner of this front end. So um, again, you've got inst uh, instructions. You've got uh, plenty of resin and material and hardener and everything you need to do that repair properly especially if you read the instructions and uh, follow them step by step. You can do as nice a repair on the body as we would here. So again, when you see those stress crack areas start to pop up, use one of these kits to stiffen that area up and fix that before it gets any worse. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call.